Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa, and this is how to beat the Bastion Pirate Ship Cheese, and also how to pull it off really well. So what we're going to do to begin with in this video is take a look at how you actually do this. Yeah, everybody knows you stick a Bastion on the payload, you put an Arissa in front of it, or a Reinhardt, and that's all you do, right? Well, no, technically you don't. This is what you do. The very first thing you want to look at is burning down the opposition barrier as fast as possible, especially if you're playing the Bastion. You get on the payload, you get behind your barrier and you destroy their barrier. Without that barrier, they will die. This is the only thing that's keeping them alive. If they don't have a comp designed to take out our barrier, then they're going to have a major, major problem. And as you can see, I'm focus firing through the barrier. I'm being damage boosted by Mercy, which is another critical element to this as well. Call was made that there was a trace behind, so I'm going to take a look behind. You'll notice as well with Bastion, I'm not actually reloading the main weapon. What I'm doing is switching between my modes because that does reload the weapon after a short period of time. So look, it's just very simple. Stay behind the barrier, start firing into the enemy, do as much damage as you can. However, check this out. This is awesome play. Your Mercy player, and if you are playing the Mercy, should reserve the Resurrect for the Bastion. It is the key. This is the protect the, the, the El Presidente, protect the president build in a way. If the Bastion is dead, you cannot possibly win. The lose condition in all of this is if you lose control of the payload. If you cannot set back up on the payload as Bastion, you have lost this. The enemy team there, through that awesome res from the Mercy player, means they cannot get onto this payload. The Bastion is able to walk back onto the payload and sit back on it. Questionable shield from the Orissa there, but it doesn't really matter because the Orissa has redeployed the shield and now we're moving again. The Bastion pirate ship is rolling. But can you see how there were various points there where this could have been lost and this could easily have been won. But through great play with the Mercy and the team all playing together and everybody understanding their role, we were able to push this through, which honestly is pretty huge. All right, let's jump forward to the next point. So we win the next engagement um, and then we keep moving forward. The enemy team now are going to try and stop us. If they get us off the payload, then that means Bastion can no longer be used. And this is a major problem I've noticed people have with this. So here we go. <laughs> this kind of pains me a little bit. I tried to jump behind the Arissa shield, but Arissa redeployed the barrier. <laughs> so now I'm, I'm halfway through transforming. I'm going to die to the bomb. That's it. At this point now, that is it. Like, watch the kill feed. Everybody is dead. There is no way I'm going to be able to walk back and get back on this payload, right? That is what you want to do with Bastion in this build. I can't do that. So now is the best time for me to swap. Sure, you might be able to try and force Bastion, but that generally results in a lot of defeats. Now is the time, if you are the Bastion player, to get off the Bastion and play something else. So in my case, I'm going to uh, play Tracer after I think, should I play Soldier? I'm like, well, actually, we could probably do with a flanker because, well, look at the team. We don't, we're not really that mobile. So, hey, let's go. So I pick up the Tracer, and as you can see, this is the final um, attack as we're moving through the map. Nice grab there. It's giving me very easy shots there, letting me clean up. And we just push forward, and we take this point, which is awesome and exactly what we were trying to do. You can't really argue with that. But if I'd stayed on Bastion, we might not have been able to do this because... I don't think we would have got payload control back as easily as we did because through me playing Tracer, that allowed me to dive into their back line and start harassing them as we tried to get onto the payload. All right, let's talk about how to actually beat this then. I'm going to show you Junkrat um, to begin with. Now, this is a really, really cute trap and concussion mine spot. They won't see this. You can see it's partially hidden anyway to us. So to them, it'll be pretty much invisible. The Bastion will get on the payload, probably get trapped by this, or the Orissa will, and then you can hit them with a the concussion mine. If you're lucky, this is going to put enough damage into them for you to quickly follow up and take them out. However, it's going to give you ultimate charge, which is what you're looking to do here with Junkrat. Now, the whole plan with this is to spam the Junkrat as much as possible. When you uh, spam the, well, it's a spam Junkrat, right? But spam the Bastion um, as much as possible. But when you can't actually hit the Bastion or any other target then you burn through the barrier like you, there is always something to be attacking here so i'll just run through what i'm doing so i'm trying to spam the main door watch the trap somebody will walk into the trap this trap works almost all of the time i'm up to 14 percent uh alt charge there which is pretty spazzy spazzy snazzy not spazzy <laughs> and now i'm just trying to go to work notice again i'm being damage boosted by the mercy this is what you want if you've got if you're a mercy player always damage boost the junk rat in this scenario and we're just trying to blast through here and do as much damage as possible look at the kill feed i've demacked i've killed the orissa and then i do this this is horrifically bad. I should not have used my ultimate here. We've won this fight. Like, we've got them off the payload, and we've pushed them back. What I've done, in my defense, is I'm like, uh oh, Genji's died, so I'm just going to ult. 
and blow up the uh, Widowmaker with my tire. Wasn't really worth it because we're going to need that in the next engagement or it would have made sense to use it in the next engagement. This is the critical point though of this entire sort of strategy with breaking up the uh, pirate ship. We've got control of the payload now. For them to get back onto the payload is going to be very, 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 very difficult indeed. It's going to take them a lot of time. It's going to take them... You know, they're going to need a bit of luck. They're going to need to catch us out of position. But really, we shouldn't get caught out of position. We do, so a bit of a spoiler, but that just serves to show you how if you don't keep your discipline with this, you will get pushed back eventually. So we're pushing back through the enemy team. You can see there, Bastion, he's still trying. He's still there. He's still working. I've retrapped the payload because I know that they're going to try and get on top of it. And we're just cleaning up the Winston. Unfortunately, we've lost a Zarya there, which is a little bit... Well, unfortunate. We kind of shouldn't lose anybody. As soon as you win the fight here, it's very critical that everybody as a team pushes back. And the way you win the fight is just getting that pick on a bastion, maybe killing a tank, just killing somebody who stops them setting up. Now, this is the like, this is the gutter, the absolute gutter here. Their bastion managed to get set up on the high ground there, so he's burning through our Arissa shield. This means we can't stand out in the front. We cannot use our shield. That bastion has shield advantage all of the time. So. We're left to just spam, like, from the relative safety here of this position. Fortunately, a nano-boosted tank mode bastion comes around the corner and just wipes me out. But we've got the reses, and we're still able to choke them up. Look at the kill feed. It's not pretty. It's messy. Yeah, it's still in the enemy's favor. We're right next to their spawn. They're going to get back quicker. But it's all about just choking them up and messing up the flow. Again, a little bit of a spoiler. We do lose this point. They do push through all the way to the end of the map as a result of, of us losing, well, not just this point, but other points as well, which I will show you in this video. But we held them for a long time here. More than 80% of the time, I'm going to say. I don't have statistics to back this up, but it feels like that. Bastion on the payload wins on this map all of the time. And there is a lot of frustration with teams not really knowing how to deal with it. So once again here, we've got control of the payload. But look at this. This is gross overextending by our tanks. They both ran forward and died after we had control of the payload. This is a death sentence now for the team, and this is where you kind of have to keep your head. If our tanks were a little bit more reserved, played a little bit safer, we wouldn't have given up this much position. Now, okay, we've got a res here, but the big problem now is their Bastion is getting position on us, and he's going to be able to just pour damage through. Their Winston comes into the back line. It's a general mess, and it's not a really good mess for us. So this leaves us in a position where the fight is lost. But the, the ability to stall the payload is still there. This is what you always have to think. Even though we've lost the fight here, we cannot win. We can stop that payload getting to the checkpoint as fast as it would. So what we need to do is just try and get in and around the payload. Maybe we get a cheeky pick. We do something like that. Obviously, I messed around the outside there and got killed by the Bastion, so it wasn't too great. That was an awesome shot. That was an absolutely awesome shot by their Widow. Because if you look at me, I'm 83% on my rip tire. I'm getting ready to rip tire this payload because that will stop it going in. And Mercy, again, with great play, reses me back. But that play there off the Widow was just ridiculously good. But we're about to see another bad rip tire play off me here. This is uh, Trigger Happy Rip Tire trying to blow up an invulnerable Winston that's just been rezzed. That was a complete waste there. And I could have just thrown the game. That's why, again, I've left this in here to show how this you sort of have to keep your discipline. That rip tire should have been into the payload. As it stands right now, we're actually losing this fight. We're popping ultimates. Zen's used his ult. We've got a tank mode Bastion coming in. It's a bit messy. I'm dead to the Winston. Uh, it's not feeling great. Our Genji pulls out his blade, gets double kill. Our Zarya gets a kill there. I get rezzed. Luckily, we come on. Like uh, 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 we come out on top on the whole engagement, and we manage to clean it up. This is good, but now something needs to happen, right? We've got rid of their Bastion. So me sticking on the Junkrat. I don't really have to, right? Look at their team comp. I can play something else now. That is, again, one of these moments where you have to think to yourself, all right, what can I do? And what can I do to uh, better the team or give us a better chance of winning with my hero selection? Now we force the enemy to change. Now, this is our final attack here. There is something which is very special about this. This is overkill. The idea here is I wanted the guys in the team to drop the Orissa and for Orissa to play Bastion. Uh, to play um, Reinhardt, sorry. Reinhardt's got a 2,000 HP barrier. Arissus is 900 HP. That means in a barrier war, if they've got a Bastion set up, we win. All I have to do is burn their barrier down and then destroy their Bastion or force him to run away. At that point, we've won. However, our team took this to the next level. We've actually got an Arissa and a Reinhardt. So we've got 19, no, 2,900 HP of barrier on the Bastion in, in theory. That is extremely difficult to stop. In fact, the only way to stop something as ridiculous as this a Junkrat wouldn't be enough, I don't think. Yeah, you could spam the barriers, it'd be fine, it'd be great. But you'd need something crazy, like maybe a May as well, to lift the Bastion up off the payload, like so you can destroy him or just block the Bastion. Stuff like that. 
Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This has been a, a bit of a return to guide videos on the channel. It's been a while since I've done this. I hope you've enjoyed this. It's been a very jam-packed video. If you have, guys, leave a comment below. And if you've got any mad strategies of how to beat this Bastion pirate ship, then do let us know in the comments below. All right, guys, I've been Stylosa, and I'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.